Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. It is Bruce Jordan, the Michael Jordan of hotels. And today we're going to be talking about what culture should your hotel adapt and what culture actually fails your hotel. Let's get it. It was prophesied that another Jordan will be born who will be greater than Michael Jordan, but he won't be the MJ of basketball. He will be the MJ of hotels. Prophecy fulfilled. This episode was brought to you by the Hotel Revenue Bible, the number one hotel revenue book that has ever been written. It includes revenue management, digital ads, social media, social media marketing, sales, catering, F&B, and more. Grab your copy today at hotelrevenuebible.com. You know, every time I hear about companies failing, they always talk about the culture, the culture, the culture. Oh, man, they didn't have the right culture or this employee doesn't fit our culture or you know what? We don't have a culture. We just going to wing it and make it up as we go. (laughs) And unfortunately, for the especially in the hotel industry, the culture has been more focused on operations. Everybody think that if you keep employees happy all the time, that they're just going to stay around forever. Okay, employees have something called bills all right and these bills got to be paid so there's no way you can have the greatest culture in the world and if you take a a a a general manager and pay that general managers eight dollars an hour i don't care how great your culture is they're gone they're not gonna last forever that's for sure because i i actually was in a situation where i had uh i had left the property and the new owner came up to the general manager and said hey you know what you're making too much money We're going to uh, reduce your salary by 30, 40%. And that GM said, oh, I understand. No problem. As soon as you found another job, deuces, I'm out. So it, it, it really doesn't matter what the culture is. The most important thing that you need to do is have a culture where you're able to maintain a decent salary for that particular individual or for that particular employee. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you have a revenue culture. Okay. Your culture inside the hotel should be focused on revenue. Every employee should have a job or a duty to focus on revenue from housekeeping to maintenance to front desk. Everyone inside that hotel should have a revenue focused mindset. It can't just be sales. It can't just be the general manager. It can't just be revenue management. Everyone has to play their part when it comes to generating revenue. For instance, front desk. Front desk has to play their part to execute when it comes to other fees, when it comes to upgrade, when it comes to up sales. Now there's two difference. There's a difference between upgrade and up sales. Upgrade is upgrading a person to a different room and upsell is upgrading to a person to a package. So let's say if you had a package that includes breakfast or you have a package that includes tickets to the museum or tickets to the theme park or tickets to an event, that's an upsell. So uh, a front desk agent has to be well versed to focus on fees first, focus on revenue first in order to maximize that hotel's revenue. Housekeeping is not just about cleaning rooms. Housekeeping is the heart of the hotel. We got to make sure that heart beats, but housekeeping can get involved too. How? Housekeeping can recommend different types of meals and drinks as they see in the hallway to keep people down coming downstairs to your restaurant. Same thing with maintenance. So it's not just about, hey, you know what? This is my job and I don't do anything else but my job. No, you are going to get involved. (laughs) You're going to get involved. So keep a revenue mindset. The number one thing that you can do, of course, is focus on your listing. If you want to figure out how to improve your listing, go ahead and grab this book, The Hotel Revenue Bible. There's a bunch of other tips in here about um, front desk, selling upgrades, um, revenue management, sales, social media, digital market, everything else. But you need to focus on your listing. That is the number one killer every hotel that I've ever seen uh, as an owner of a management company and as a consultant. 
So make sure everybody plays their part when it comes to revenue, create a revenue culture first, because if you don't have a revenue culture, because if you don't have a revenue culture, you won't have the money that you need to make sure that the employees get the wages and salary that they need. Thank you for tuning in again. My name is Bruce Jordan, and you know, you know what we're here to do. We're here to make your revenues rise up once again.